Hello. McTominay's late brace saves United as Spurs go top Scott McTominay scored two goals in stoppage time to give Manchester United a dramatic 2-1 win over Brentford, while Tottenham Hotspur moved to the top of the Premier League with a 1-0 win at Luton Town on Saturday. Chelsea also won their second league game in a row, beating Burnley 4-1 at Turf Moor, and Everton climbed out of the bottom three with a 3-0 win over Bournemouth at Goodison Park. Manchester United were booed off at halftime as they trailed Brentford, who had taken the lead in the 26th minute through Matthias Jensen. The Danish midfielder capitalized on a mistake by Case Miro and a poor clearance by Victor Lindelof to beat Andre Onana with a low shot. Onana made up for his error with two superb saves in the second half, keeping United in the game until McTominay's heroics. The Scotland international came off the bench and equalised in the 93rd minute with a close-range finish after a scramble in the box. He then headed home the winner in the seventh minute of added time to spark wild celebrations at Old Trafford and lift United to 10th place on 12 points, 5 above Brentford who are 14th. This was the latest Manchester United had ever been behind in a Premier League game and still won. It was an unbelievable feeling, one of the best moments I've had on a football pitch, McTominay said. We showed great character and resilience, which we need to do more often. Spurs on top with Manchester City playing Arsenal on Sunday, Tottenham took advantage of their rivals' inactivity to go top of the table with a 1-0 win at Luton, despite playing with 10 men for the whole second half. Eve Bissouma was shown a second yellow card for diving just before halftime, leaving Spurs with a numerical disadvantage. But they still managed to score the only goal of the game in the 52nd minute, when Mickey van de Ven tapped in a cross from James Madison. Spurs are unbeaten in their first eight league games and have 20 points, two more than City and three more than Arsenal. Luton are still on four points. Spurs have only started a top-flight campaign better once before, in 1960-61 when they won their first 11 games. We showed a lot of quality and resilience today, which we have done throughout the season, Spurs manager Ange Postecoglou said. We should have scored more goals in the first half, but then we had to defend well after the red card. Chelsea bounce back Chelsea continued their recovery from a poor start to the season with a convincing 4-1 win at Burnley, their first away victory in the league since February. Burnley took an early lead through Wilson Odebert's first goal in England, but Chelsea equalised just before halftime when Amin al Dakil turned the ball into his own net. Chelsea then took control in the second half, with Cole Palmer scoring from the penalty spot, Raheem Sterling adding a third with a fine solo effort and Nicholas Jackson completing the route with a late strike. Chelsea moved up to 11 points, while Burnley remained in the relegation zone with six points. This was the first time Chelsea had won a Premier League game after conceding first since October 2022, when they beat Southampton 3-1. We showed great character and quality today, Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel said. We were unlucky to go behind, but we reacted well and scored some good goals. Everton end home drought Everton ended their four-game losing streak at home with a 3-0 win over Bournemouth, who are still without a win this season. James Garner opened the scoring for Everton with a header from a corner in the first half, Jack Harrison doubled their lead with a volley from outside the box in the second half and Abdoulaye Dukor sealed the win with a tap-in from close range. Everton moved up to 15th place with 9 points, while Bournemouth stayed 19th with 3 points. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.